Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. Now I've been getting power outages today so <laughs> no guarantees. No guarantees we're going to try and get this one done. Um, this four cups that fell out is kind of telling me that I might have to wait for stuff so if anything happens it may not be with the video it might just be with me uploading it so but we'll take it as such. Okay. So we're going to clear the energy right now. We're going to create a beautiful, safe space with Liam and Mona where there is no weather, just energy, right? Mother Nature is birthing spring, quite literally. I feel it. Uh, we've had like freezing and, and rain and all of that stuff, so it's really coming in. And since I'm doing this like, you know, a bit ahead, this has already passed. So some of you may have been in this weather. I think I saw some comments. Oh, we're expecting really bad weather. Yep, I'm in there too. So, um, luckily though, I've been able to accomplish a lot today. Um, yeah, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful. We're going to look at the week right now of the 17th to the 23rd. Ooh. I just looked at my little calendar and the 23rd we're doing already the month of May. So next Sunday, make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe because we're going to be looking at what's happening in May. Already, already, May. Beautiful May. Can't wait for it. Okay, so here we go, beautiful ones. I've decided to use Jane Wallace decks. One is the Angel Tarot and the other one is Crystal Power. Um, the reason I am is because the Angel deck has keywords on the tarot. So does this one. But find a crystal uh, one is closer to um, what, well it is, I like the keywords and the sentences on this one. The angel one, uh, I like to use it more like an oracle. So that's why I'm using both of these. I love the, the decks. Uh, I don't use them as much. I'm trying to see uh, what decks I'm going to keep and what might be um, repurposed so we're gonna have to look because uh, I feel that I I pull my favorites it's like a closet right and some I think instead of just sitting there um, somebody might give these decks a lot of love and uh, might get the help they need from them so yeah we're gonna do we're, I'm gonna be doing that I don't know what I'm gonna do let me know if you guys would be interested in a giveaway because if you are then we can do that. That would be cool. All right, beautiful ones. We're going to start. I've already picked my four decks for the week to do the readings. Uh, I picked the Sufi Tarot and the newly Raise Your Vibration by Kyle Gray. This is a member video. I did the flip through on this one. And I'm going to be using the Spirit Junkie as well from Gabrielle Bernstein, I believe. And the Star to row. Okay, so these beautiful decks are going to be used. I've already picked them. And these are the decks for our cards for the week. So let's do this. I'm going to start with the Good Karma to row because let's start with the Good Karma. The cards that were pulled for this week and when I did the month of April, it was Valiant Courage, Take Action with Passion, No Place Like Home, and that's feeling that that internal uh, homing signal of feeling like you are home. And in it comes um, the Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. And we've already, if you want to see, they already came up with the New Moon Eclipse in Aries. Second time it's in Aries this morning, in this morning's reading. So I would go check that out. Um, you're going to have... A great um, opportunity to not restart well maybe restart um, I don't think you've ever stopped I just think that it's a great opportunity to sharpen the focus is what I see so let's see here I'm gonna pull three cards for what this looks like for this week for you Pisces yeah two of wands contemplation Seven of Wands, Determination and Defense, and the Sun, right? 
Mm hmm. Okay. So the Two of Wands, it comes in, it's contemplating. You're contemplating, this is, what is this? And persevering, because this is defending what matters to you, but it's meeting up with challenges too. And being having that perseverance to um, <clears throat> follow through. Okay? So I feel it's almost too like conflicts as well, if you look. Overcoming conflicts, defending what you believe in, persevering through. So it's contemplating the stuff that's been maybe when you started last month, you said, okay, I am, um, you know, I know, I know what I want to do. Maybe there's a situation, a relationship, whatever, and you were thinking, I've got it all figured out. But as the month went on, like most things, when you start stepping into something, you soon realize sometimes that your focus needs, and this is what I feel, I feel like your focus and your compass needs to be changed. They're showing me you're walking in the forest and you constantly have to take the compass because you're moving to trees, you didn't see some obstacles, and you constantly have to go back to wherever you're going, right? So this is what I'm seeing. But it's sunny. It's great. It's wonderful. Clarity returns. It's not, um, it's, I don't feel like it's a big thing. I feel it's just a thing, right, that keeps you going. So let's see here. All right, so we're going to pull from the Angel Tarot. Ten of Wands, Burdens. <laughs> this is this is this right here. That's what you're working on, this week. Relieving the burdens, right? Letting go, making sure that everything that you've got is that's what you want. It's like working out the kinks. It's working out the kinks. Doesn't mean the burdens aren't there. Doesn't mean you don't feel them. <clears throat> don't feel them. It just means that you're going to get past them. Ugh. And that just went flying away. And I don't even know where. Oh, there it is. What am I looking at here? What came out? Yeah, the King of Wands. See? I am successful in all that I do. There you go. Burdens? Ha! No problem. So this is the work you're going to do. You're going to take the lead on anything that comes up. Anything that's burdening you. Anything that's not contributing to your sense of happiness. That part where you're going... That doesn't feel like it's the right thing. It doesn't feel like it's in the right place. And there you are, right? Fixing it. Taking care of it. Okay. Knight of Swords, drama, drama, drama. Yeah, when this 10, I thought that's too much. When it came out, I thought that's too much. That's too much. That doesn't feel like that. So what is happening is that a 7 is turning into a 10. The Knight of Swords is letting me know is run away from this. Run away from this drama. Okay, in your mind or around you, if it's somebody trying to over-dramatize things, again, yeah, it's, I trust I am always safe and protected, and I embrace joyful opportunities. In other words, it's don't lose control of the situation. Oh, my lights are flickering. Don't lose control over the situation, and embrace the opportunities that these burdens offer. 
In other words, showing you where you need to go, how you need to move past it. Yeah. Yes, Pisces. That's exactly it. All right, so your blocks this week. So it's, yeah. Yeah. With this awesome firepower that's coming in, also comes the passion that comes with, right? Just try to regulate yourself. The balance card did come out this morning with the moon. In other words, keep yourself in check. Keep yourself balanced. The sun coming out again. Right at the end, look at that, the block. The angel of happiness. What's the block? The block is the sun. That can't be. Let's see. Let's see what else. Well, yeah, if you're letting this stuff bother you, then you're blocking your your chance at clarity, your enthusiasm, your personal growth. Right. And the card of illusion comes with it, right? The moon and the sun. My intuition guides me to the right decision. Okay, so don't let illusion guide you, let intuition guide you. If you're too much in the passionate energy of Aries and it's maybe the sun is shining just too bright for you and you're a little blinded, trust your intuition. I'm going to go with that because that feels more like that. Absolutely. Okay, so, how's your past affecting you? Oh, Knight of Pentacles, trust. So is this trust in yourself or in others, or is it both? Let's see. Yes, these cards shuffle really nice, because they're... They're a very malleable card. Page of Cups. I am as young as I choose to feel. What I feel with that, though, is that to trust who you are and trust the path that you were going. Um, we've talked about this a lot, Pisces, in the past. You may have not always been allowed to be yourself, and I feel that's coming into play now. It's affecting you because you are very determined now to be who you were meant to be. Um, you do realize, as I said, I don't remember in what reading, but I said, um, you've always adapted to things outside of yourself and now it's time for things to adapt to you. You need to be who you were meant to be. And that's coming into play here. All right. So next up is your magic. Oh. My laptop's having a hard time with this weather. <laughs> There's a lot of restarts going on. <laughs> it's okay. You just start again. Do your best. Continue on. Okay. So, Seven of Pentacles. Vision. What is your magic? Vision is your magic. A visionary. Seeing what you want, where you want to go, what you want to do. Two of 
two of wands, I focus on what I want and make it happen. Vision and focus. That is your magic. I mean, I could go in, in more, but I will this week. And it kind of says it all, right? I mean, vision, focus. That's your magic. And it's a two of wands, a two of wands. I focus, I focus. That's what you need to do. You need to focus on the prize. You need to focus on your start, your restart, whatever you're doing. You need to just keep going. Keep going, Pisces. You believe in what you're doing. Don't give up. Okay? Five of Pentacles, isolation. That's what's the big picture. Let's see here. Let's see here what they're talking about. What I'm hearing is that your mind is so focused. Oh, look at all these cards that came out. Okay. Okay, so before I read these, I all I saw with isolation is you not isolating yourself from people, but isolating your thoughts to the focus that you want. Isolating your thoughts to the focus you're looking for. This is an intuitive one, okay? So you have the King of Swords. I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. Trusting yourself. Seven of Swords. I take great care of what I value. And that's your positivity and what you believe in. Nine of Pentacles. I take the time. I need to nurture myself. There's a lot of taking time to take care of yourself here, Pisces. So these last cards, this week, if you take anything, as you listen to these during the week, this is like the roundup. This is the the big takeaway. And the big takeaway is to isolate and focus your thoughts. Okay? Trust your abilities. Take great care in what you value, which is what's true to you, and take the time to nurture the self. We had self-love this morning in the moon, reading, make sure that you are really tapping into that beautiful Pisces. All right, so that is it for this week. These are the cards that we're going to be looking at. These are the readings we're going to be doing. I hope I see you there. I hope that, um, yeah, I hope you get a lot from it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that because then you'll get notified. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell to all, but you can also go to my website and sign up there and I'll send you an email and you'll never miss when I post because I post twice a day and from um, I'm hoping that this empowers you to uh, follow the energies that feel right within your soul and make you achieve the greatness that you deserve. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings, Pisces. I hope to see you this week a lot. I hope to hear you commenting. Don't forget to press the like button and share it if you can. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye for now.